What's happening budget builders? Welcome back to part four on this rebuild series, this Porsche 911 Targa. Once again, I can't thank you all so much for all the positive support on the past three videos on this car and also on the channel. Today we're gonna go ahead and finish getting this car stripped down. Let's pressure wash it. Let's really see what we're working with. All right guys, the first thing let's do, let's go ahead and get wrapped up here on the front. Let's get this lower valance pulled off. I'll start trying to get some of these AC lines pulled off. Sorry about my shadow y'all. And let's try to finish getting the interior of the front here stripped out and then we'll start working our way into the interior so let's see looks like we've got about maybe a 13 there oh that makes it easier I didn't realize there was a nut on the inside. I had some people asking me why I don't work with gloves. I'll be honest, I do. Depends on what I'm doing. But I am so hands-on, I cannot stand the the feeling of having gloves on and feeling not being able to feel everything, I guess if you could if I could put it that way. <laughs> My movements and my actions aren't as crisp without gloves on. <laughs> So I had a couple people ask me what I was doing with my nuts and bolts to keep organized. And I didn't wanna, I guess I had said in the comments, I didn't wanna bore you guys with it, but let me go ahead and show you what I'm doing just to keep everything here organized. So what you do is you come in the house, you go in the cabinet, you steal your wife's sandwich bags, you come over to where she keeps her pencils and markers, and you steal a Sharpie. And then what I do, for each set of bolts I pull out, say I had the front fenders, I made a bag for front fenders, I take my Ziploc bag, I write valance, we stick our bolts in there, now at the end of the day I'm going to have 4,000 little bags but everything is well kept well neat and well organized as far as keeping up with what bolts are so for those of you that wondered this is the secret to that portion of my madness some of it's just madness and we'll see what happens with that but <laughs> let's go ahead and see if we can get this guy off and these bits and pieces off see how she looks under there all right, so it does look like we have screws coming through here. And again, even though some of these are just about ruined, I do hold on to them just so when I get replacements I can simply go to the hardware store and I like to not only replace some of what I have going on you know some of the bolts and stuff but I like to put stainless stuff and and other upgraded parts in there just to make it a little nicer and a little longer lasting once I get done with it and that came on off. <laughs> I didn't 
looks like we got some kind of goofy little clips. Let's uh Go ahead and organize that. Now half of the stuff I'm writing on here won't make any sense to anybody trying to look at it. But once I see it and I see the parts, I'll know exactly what I'm looking at, if you know what I mean. Get this latch pulled off here. As you can see there, the bolt actually broke off for the pull cable and someone had bent this around. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'll drill that just a little bit and put an easy out in it. Pop that sucker out and we just need to get a new bolt for it. Now I did do go ahead and decide to leave some of this stuff here for now until I until I go ahead and wash the car just because there's so much debris and stuff in the car, mouse poop, that I don't want to dig into it too much more without getting it cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and pull, let's get these windshield wipers pulled off, maybe some of this trim will work on the interior a little bit, and then let's pull this thing down and let's pressure wash it and, and see how she cleans up. Cleans up. Now on these guys you've got 14 millimeter nuts. You get them off, we'll just wiggle them a little bit. They pop right off. And these obviously will need to be painted. Hopefully my shadow's not looking terrible. I am gonna write driver side and passenger side on these. Just so we know. Once again, we'll put the nuts in their own little baggie. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this little rocker cover pulled off. Looks like it's just glued. That it is. part on the inside here. It's actually screwed. Oh boy. I want to get some of this carpet pulled up so we can really get to see what we got for floorboards and I am afraid <clears throat> those are gonna have to be drilled out
Looks like we got a 17 for the seatbelt there. Alright, let's see what this little section of floor looks like. Don't look too terrible there. All right, y'all, so I want to temporarily pop this door off just so we can get some better access to this interior. Looks like we've got six 13 millimeter bolts to get this thing pulled off. Alright, now you guys are probably not going to enjoy seeing me do this, but these seats are toast, the frame rails are rusted, I can't move them to try to unbolt them, so we're going to have to cut them up to, to save this floorboard, you know, from, from me trying to rip it around, so you might cringe on this one. All right, you guys, we got both seats out of there and all the carpet and there's a little bit of floor left. <laughs> She's, uh, oh, slightly rusty, a few holes here and there. You know, but honestly, realistically, other than that center tunnel, structural-wise, everything's pretty solid all the way around. Put a pan in it and go ahead and maybe redo, rebuild or get another tunnel, put some pieces in it. She's slightly Flintstone. I was honestly expecting a little bit more floorboard for a $500 car from the scrapyard, but sometimes this is what you get. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and we'll get, oh, here comes some of it itself. 
we'll get some of the, the we'll get the rear seats out of here and these panels and this target under the cover here and see how everything looks in the back here before we wash this car up guys so we got all this pulled out other than some surface rust back here everything looks pretty pretty good got a little rod over there a little crusty right there but these rear seat bands look pretty well Get a little bit of crust we're gonna have to clean up there. It's coming along pretty good though. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get all this mess kind of cleaned up. We'll hook up to the trailer. We'll pull down by my uh, spigot. We'll get the pressure washer out and give it a good bath and see what she looks like.
All right, y'all. Well, I made a big old mess, but it's it's a start. You can see how nice the paint job was on this car. Kind of just blasted it off, <laughs> but it does get me down to see more of what we're working with. It's just right over top of the original paint. I may try to chip that off or blast it off, figure out something to get down. Everything here is real solid. Just has a little bit of surface rust there. See how nice everything cleaned up in there. Under there looks really nice. Front doesn't look too terrible. We got some mess right there we need to work with. And here looks like it cleaned up really nice. Kind of cool. I'm sorry I missed this little spot. The phone didn't start recording. See how good that rocker looks. Up in there is very clean. Do a little bit more work on the side but you can see that original paint down underneath I almost think it'd be cool to even try to bring that back if we decided to go kind of a rat rod look let me show you side here In there cleaned up pretty nice. It looks like honestly, other than pans and that center tunnel, oh, nice little puddle there. Everything's going to be pretty solid floor wise. Let me dip down underneath, see if I can show you. See, there's a you can see where that floor is sagging down. Once you get beyond the floor, it doesn't look terrible. Still need to get, get the wiring out of this car. Man, that's some pretty hips. Alright y'all, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. You see we got a little farther down, dug in a little bit more. We kind of see more so what we're working with structural wise on the car. So we can kind of make a game plan on what we, need to, what we need to do as we get going here. So far I haven't seen any big surprises in this car, stuff that I wasn't expecting. I'm sure you're thinking I'm crazy still, but we're going to make this car happen. If you guys want to see more on this series and the other builds here at Budget Builds, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I really do appreciate all the support that you guys have given us. Be sure to come back next week. We're going to get wheels on this car, and we're going to get it off of the trailer.